It's June 19th, 2013, and I decided to uh, comment a bit more, uh, this time on some additional groups that I checked out after leaving Mormonism. So, after leaving Mormonism, I had, I went to Texas for a year and a half, to us get out of Utah and see what life was like outside. And then I went to uh, Portland for a year and a half. And uh, in 99, I protested against the, you know, in front of Temple Square, showing up as an alien from Kolob with a special message uh, that uh, Colobites had come to Joseph Smith against Colobite law, the Colobite law against non-interference, sort of a Star Trek not prime directive thing. Um, then in, two, during in 2002, protesting during the Olympics uh, with a special focus in that case on uh, basically the anti-human, anti-sex uh, anti-normal, anti-positive uh, positive view of sex um, views of Spencer Kimball and how that hurt a lot of people as a result caused some suicides. But uh, anyway, I, uh, simultaneously to the, all that, um, I also checked out a few uh, other things like, uh, you know, I was uh, somewhat fascinated by the idea of, for example, checking out nudists Because when you're a naive Mormon boy, you don't really, well, and this was pre-internet, right? You don't really get to know much of what the human body looks like other than your own to some extent. And even that you got to kind of be careful of, right? Um, so, uh, anyway, there was this new, uh, kind of newish group called, uh, well, these were the Nudist Association of Utah, or Utah Nudist, or some such thing, and it was run by this woman. Um, and, uh, so they had these, uh, nude swims at a uh, at a private uh, at a diving school in the Salt Lake Valley so I went to these nude swims and there were people there of all ages and uh, it was you know overall a positive experience I think generally speaking but there were some additional things kind of surrounding that which I found unusual so I wanted to comment on that first thing was is that nudists they make they make very strong uh, claims up front that all of their activities are quote unquote non sexual that and that sex has nothing to do with a nudist event or nudist party or nudist nudist swim. It's just about being natural, natural, but nothing to do with the letters S, E, and X. Nothing. Nothing to do with sex. Naked bodies have nothing to do with sex. No. When you show up with a naked, your naked body, 
that means uh, whatever happens has nothing to do with sex. It's just about being, oh, so natural and free, freedom, but not sex. Sex, no. So that is a really dishonest claim, okay? Um, and it it's kind of a similar demand to Mormonism where they want you to disconnect your brain from your genitals, you know, with this whole master, fear of masturbation thing and fear of having too much fun even when you're married and with sex and, you know, the prohib prohibition against oral sex in the past. And so, uh, anyway, the claim that, you know, whenever you wa walk out the door and you, you know, especially if you're a man, you, uh, you see a cute girl, okay, walking down the street, you well, hey, 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 uh, guess what? Uh, a sexual thought might enter your brain. It's hardwired, and it's, you know... Go check out, uh, you know, Steven Pinker and, you know, the his book about the, the claim of the blank slate and how that's just not true. There are some hardwired things in humans and, you know, our brains are linked to our genitals. I mean, our eyes are linked to our genitals through our brain. Hardwired. H-A-R-D. Okay. For those English learners among you. So... Anyway, the claim that we can ever just be separate from sex is stupid and abusive. Okay. But then it's a really ironic because we have these people who are claiming to be, oh, such great advocates for being natural, natural, natural. But then at the same time, they hold, they hold that in one hand, right? And then they hold in the other hand the claim... Oh, yes, all of our activities have zero to do with S-E-X. <laughs> so, it's like they're afraid. And this group, uh, whatever the name of it was, that was doing these swims, they had these hoops you had to jump through to join the group. Um... You had to sign this form that said, uh, Oh, I promise that I will uh, abide by all of these rules about being so nice. And think about, um, you know, if you were just going to go to a dance or a party at someone's house, a potluck, someone's house. Um... Would you, do you think they'd require you to sign your life away? Uh, you know, promise this and this and this and this and this. Never to offend anybody. Never to do anything that offends anybody. And everything is not about sex. And so on and so forth. And you cannot even, maybe you cannot even ask people on a date. Uh, no, no, no. no nothing about sex. No, never. You have to sign your life away just to go to a social event. Is that normal? Is that natural? I don't think so. So that's the state of affairs with nudism in America. They're afraid of sex. S-E-X afraid. Afraid of sex. Okay. So, yeah, they take their clothes off, and that's an interesting experience. It, it was a, po a generally positive experience to go to a nude swim with people of all ages and all sizes, fat, regular-looking people, you know, not just models. And I was 100 pounds heavier than myself. So it was a generally positive experience, that's true. But the leader lady, she was really odd and controlling. Now, another weird thing is that she, come to find out, through all these claims that, oh, our meetings are not about sex, come to find out this the leader of this nudist group was actually a kind of a pagan, 
quote unquote goddess of sex. She I learned this through email, you know, email. She didn't like proposition me per se, but I just saw her interactions on this kind of private message group. And uh, anyway, so it looked to me like she was kind of a, a poly sexual, polyamorous type of a person that, you know, that's what I could tell from these communications. And okay, so you're a nudist, you run your nudist club and you claim, oh, it's not about sex, no sex. And then at the same time, you're a, a polyamorous pagan witch. And, you know, my claims about the second part are not just pulling out of my rear end. It's stuff that I actually saw via electronic communication. Okay? So, that's what happens with... Well, I, what, so why does that happen? You could ask that. And that is because it is true that in America, we're really hung up about sex, you know, two-faced. It's the, it's the legacy of Puritanism. <sighs> you know, Puritanism said, oh, sex bad. The flesh. And I remember even as a Mormon, they told us, uh, the natural man is an enemy to God. Hmm. And I, when I left Mormonism, I realized, well, why do they say that? Because if you actually take a positive approach to master, things like masturbation, or even sex before and after marriage, you may realize that there's no need to suck up to some god just to be happy. Okay? Uh, there's a happiness thing right between your legs, and if it's used uh, properly, you know, by yourself to begin with and with someone else after, later, then by hell, there's no need to pray to the Mormon God for anything or suck up to Jesus. Jesus! Jesus! And no need to suck up to kiss Jesus' ass. Do you want to kiss Hank's ass or Jesus' ass? You can Google for that one. Uh, good website on some some of those topics about kissing Hank's ass is uh, uh, nowscape.com that's N-O-W-S-C-A-P-E dot com and uh, you can uh, check out stuff on Mormonism there and stuff on Islam that's a good website okay so that's the state of of nudism and you know I'm still generally in favor of being able to take your clothes off uh, and go hiking or swimming or stuff but uh, I don't think to do so you should have to add these extra controls which show that you're so afraid afraid of sex while you're at the same trying to buy, be so natural, natural, natural. It's strange. So maybe, maybe if we somehow, you know, examine how tribal societies deal with the human body, that'd be one example uh, or a thing we could look to, you know. How we can avoid being less hung up about S-E-X while at the same time not worrying about so much about uh, C-L-O-T-H-E-S clothes, that is. So, more recently, I have not really had any association with nudist groups, uh, not for quite, not for some, so many years now, maybe 12 to 15 years. I just don't go to them anymore, and in Utah, people, the Mormons are so upset about the human body, they're afraid of having sexual thoughts, and so, uh, anyway, it's more difficult here to have nudist beaches and stuff. But when I lived in Portland, there is a nudist beach on Save Island near Portland that I did go to. And I 
Uh, I don't know. I went there a few times and saw, oh, there's a naked person. Mm -hmm. From Utah. Seeing a naked person. Very interesting. But uh, anyway, that was, that was in Portland, uh, Save Island. They have a nude beach. Okay? So big deal. BFD. Big fucking deal. Um, and, uh, uh, let's see, what else? Okay, so there was, that's the nudist thing. And I guess, uh, that's all I'll address for now in this video, uh, okay, that's enough for now to go to work. Okay, well, have fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm an advocate for nudist events, but just watch out for the wacky, wacky jobs who kind of tie Puritanism in with nudism and s pretend like, oh, you have to be afraid of SEX and sign your life away and agree to a, a, a list of a million rules of behavior just to join some social group where you take your clothes off, you know. That just shows you're afraid, af afraid, afraid, very afraid of what you claim to be such a big advocate for. You're adding in fear to this thing. So, anyway, okay, have fun.